Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India back to aircraft structures one course this is professor anup ghosh from aerospace engineering department iit kharagpur we are at the beginning of uh, week 3 lectures uh, lecture number 12 truss system we will get introduced to truss system we will uh, see how we determine a truss is and predominantly we will concentrate in this week le lectures with uh, determinate truss plane truss as well as space truss. Space truss is or three dimensional truss is more popular in aircraft structures, but to get introduced we will spend some time in truss structures, plane truss structures and then we will proceed further. So, as we have seen this is history of uh, aircraft uh, engineering we have seen, we have in the last week what we have seen is uh, mentioned at the bottom the shear and moment on fuselage and shear and moment on wing also we have seen. So, with that <coughs> we will get introduced this week with to the truss system method of section. So, what we, we do a truss system statically determinate and indeterminate structures in this uh, terminology determinate and indeterminate structures. This is uh, very frequent in case of uh, truss structures. So, uh, we it is easy to, to determine which is de determinate, which is not, not inter determinate or indeterminate. A system is said to be determinate in all external, if all re external reactions and internal loads on its members can be obtained utilizing only the static equations of equilibrium. See here we mention internally and externally, internal loads and external re reactions. Otherwise, the structure is said to be statically indeterminate or as redundant structures. In case of plane truss, we usually have three equations, equilibrium equation that is the reason and number of unknowns are m. So, total number of unknowns are m plus 3, 3 and we have number of equations as number joints multiplied by 2. If it is less than that, it is unstable plane truss we say, uh, if it is more equal then it is statically determinate uh, plane truss internally we say internally because if the number of reaction is more then it is external indeterminacy, it is 3 if it is, it is internal indeterminacy. So, if it is more it is indeterminate plane truss. So, the three equations of equilibrium as we have uh, seen many of you are already introduced. So, we are not going to spend much time on it. If you are interested about it please uh, refer to many uh, mechanics books, uh, many books are available to show it. Similarly, for space truss uh, the number of equations are 6 as it is described at the bottom, three uh, equations of force and three equations of mo moments. And similar way it is internally determinate, it is indeterminate and if it is less than it is unstable that means the truss is not supposed to bear load, it is, uh, it is to collapse. So, uh, it is always uh, desirable to study a truss structure with example method of joints uh, type of uh, we will we'll study this week two examples we will do, this is one example, it is a very famous example we have uh, considered. Uh, the requirement or uh, to be found out is internal loads internal uh, loads acting on each member of the structure shown in the figure. 
So, somehow there are loads T equals to this is acting uh, 100 pound is acting on it. This is freely rotating disc attached at the uh, end of the this horizontal bar C H and there is one more uh, system which is uh, supported here and one more link bar is there that is uh, that is another two force member is there. What is two force member also we will see. So, first uh, disassemble the structure as shown, we have disassembled it or in more uh, better way we say it is a free body diagram, we make a free body diagram for each member, since member 1, 2 and 4, 6, this is 4, 6, this is 1, 2 are two force members, the forces acting on them are along the line joining the pin joints of the member. Since uh, this these members are only joined at the two ends and there is no other force in between this if we are able to find out one uh, it is a two force member. So, if one is known the other is automatically known. So, that that is the way the free body diagram is shown here and that way it reduces to three reaction this one this one and this one. So, we you need to find out external reactions and also we need to find out the internal loads developed in the member. All directions of forces are chosen arbitrarily and most must be reversed if a negative value is obtained. That is, if 3 x is assumed to act to the right on the horizontal member, this way this way and therefore, must act to the left since its mag magnitude to be negative. So, this will come later. So, we will see uh, if it is required we may need to reverse or considering the same direction putting the negative value we can easily solve the problem. So, uh, all the forces here two components are there from this point as it is as you see 7 x is acting this way here, the other way it is acting here 7 f 7 y is acting this way upward it is acting downward here and the at uh, this point similar way f 3 x is acting this way that is the reason it is acting this way. We are assuming all these joints are pin joints that means, the it is free to rotate and it can uh, have have since there here we have two components, it has two components, here only we have one component that is why it is two force member, here also only one member that is why it is a two force member. So, we have uh, considered the free body diagram for solving from one side that is the general approach of uh, solving with method of joints. What we have done, we have separated out uh, the disk and let us see from one to other equation how do we solve the problem. For the pulley summation of moment uh, we have considered about this point clockwise is considered positive. This 2 inch uh, is the dimensions, dimensions are not given here also this is the 2 inch dimensions here, this is 3 inch, this is I think these are all fit, 2 feet, 3 feet, 4 feet and these are also in fit, oh, it is changing. So, that is the reason 2 was coming there and uh, y, what we see that 1000 multiplied by 2 is equals to minus of 2 t, again 2 multiplied by o. Oh, sorry. So, tension in the cable is 1000 pound, if we consider summation in x direction we get the 7 x. Uh, this equation uh, I guess uh, it is it is a typographical mistake, I hope uh, you will get it 7 x minus uh, 
thousand is equals is equals to zero if I cut this then 7 x minus 1000 is equals to 0. Here uh, similar way we get that 7 y the component in y direction is equals to 1000. So, once we know this we will take these forces here and we will go on solving the other components. So, that is the reason the free body diagram has come in this slide. So, in this slide as we have considered the two force member F 6 is acting here in this direction, but uh, one thing we need to know is about uh, the angle that is solved here tan inverse 3 by 4 is equals to 36.9 degree. This uh, 3 by 4 is from the geometry is already in taken. So, uh, first to consider moment about 3 about this point we are considering moment and uh, this 2.4 is already calculated the distance between this length. So, 1000 is 7 is this distance is 7 and uh, then this is passing through this point these two are also passing through this point. So, the no component of these three forces are coming only 7 y acting downward this is acting this way the perpendicular distance is 2.4 and accordingly if we solve the equation we get the F 6 equals to 2915 pound. So, similarly if we consider the equilibrium equation in the x direction this 2915 pound of F 6 whatever we have got uh, that cos component of this, this is the angle whatever we have found out. If 3 x this direction plus this is also acting in this direction minus this 7 x this 1000 is considered. So, this gives us the equilibrium equation in the x direction and we get the F 3 x value as, as minus 1335. This is what was mentioned in the first slide, it is negative. So, either we may continue solving considering the arrow otherwise other direction or with the help considering this as a negative force keeping the direction same we can continue solving it. In the y direction similarly if we get the sign component will come of the same fo force and we get the, the vertical direction uh, force as F 3 y is equals to minus 750 pound. Since the magnitude of F 3 x and F 3 y comes to be negative, the assumed direction must be reverse revised. A common practice is to cross out rather than erase the original arrow. Uh, this is uh, that is what we, we I mentioned just now we may keep the arrow same with keeping the force in the other direction or we can change the arrow. So, if we come here in the next uh, vertical member uh, forces equilibrium of that forces this F 6 F 4 and F 6 are same. since there are two joints that is why at two points this is named in this way. So, F 3 x you see is considered in the same direction. So, we are supposed to put the negative value. So, we are considering moment about 5 this point. Uh, so, what are the forces will come? these forces are known, this force is known, this is the force only unknown force is this F 2. Again this F 2 here it is written F 1, actually this F 1 and F 2 are same because it is a two force member. So, it may be written either as F 2 or it may be written as F 1. So, from there uh, considering that same equation what do we get is that F 1 uh, is equals to 500 pound. Now, considering the 
summation of forces in the horizontal directions. Please uh, keep, in in, keep it in mind in our drawing it was mentioned that this angle is 30 degree and the other angle if we complete this, this angle is 60 degree. So, considering the uh, x direction force equilibrium, what we are going to get is that F 5 x the reaction here, we write the equation this way F 5 x minus 2915 cos 36.0. 9 this one plus 1335 minus 500 cos 60. So, C this is positive though it is on the other direction positive is put because of the negative force found and accordingly we get the value of the 5 reaction one of the reaction F 5 x which is 1 to 5 0 pound. Similarly, if we consider the equilibrium in the y direction, same manner the sine component comes and sine component of this force comes and uh, the seven uh, the other two forces components of are, are coming. And we get the the value of uh, if 5 y is equals to 1 4 3 3 pound. As I was I have mentioned previously, now you see that this is two force member that is why f 1 is equals to f 2, f 4 is equals to f 6. Now, all uh, internal loads have been obtained without the use of entire structure as a free body. The solution is checked by applying the three equations of equilibrium to the entire structure. So, considering the entire structure as a whole, these three reactions can be found out. So, that is what is done. It, it, it is said that instead of finding out the equilibrium equations for the whole structure is found uh, is calculated and it sums up to equals to 0. In the y direction also if we consider this also comes as 0 and if we consider a moment about this point that also comes as equals to 0. The equilibrium check should be made wherever possible to detect any error that might have occurred during the analysis. So, this is a, a simplified very simple example to get introduced with the uh, method of joints sorry uh, yes method of joints. Uh, the next example what we will be solving is a, a introduction to the method of section. So, and uh, let us see how do we solve. This is uh, one example uh, this all these are equispaced 10 inch uh, distance. This is a truss member all these joints are pin joints we always assume sometimes we show sometimes we do not show. So, this is pin joint that is why there are two reactions this is roller joint that is why there is only one reaction this is acting upward and uh, we need to find out member forces. Uh, you please uh, keep it in mind these small uh, scripts are the uh, joint numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and this big font number whatever is there this one these are the member number this number is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. This is again 10 inch there is a horizontal force acting here on this uh, joint 200 pound 2000 pound one uh, the vertically downward force is acting here at joint 2 as 4000 4, pound and at joint 7 there is a uh, there is a load acting as 1000 pound. What we need to find out? We need to find out member force this find the internal load in the member 5 of the coplanar truss structure shown. So, that is what uh, we have already discussed that we will be solving mainly the plane trusses or the coplanar truss structures. 
which does not have any other any any member uh, away from the plane of the other uh, uh, members. So, considering that we will solve this problem. Method of sections uh, as it is said here, as in this example often it is desirable to find the internal loads in certain selected members that is why the method of section is more popular while we do not need to find out all the member forces uh, in those situations method of method of uh, section is much more popular of a truss without analyzing the entire truss. Usually the method of joints is cumbersome in this case since the loads in all the members to the left or right of any member must be obtained before the force is found in that particular member. In method of joints if we follow we need to need to find out all the member forces previous to the member force what we want to find out that is the reason this is more popular. An analysis by the method of section will yield the internal load in any pre selected member by single operation without the necessity of finding loads in the other members. Instead of considering the joints as free bodies, a cross section is taken through the truss and the part of the truss on there on either side is considered as free body. So, this is the key. We need to choose a section uh, that section is not desirably a straight line, uh, it can have can be a curved section also, but uh, the either side uh, as a free body, this is free body considered uh, as free body. The, the cross section is chosen so that it cuts the member for which the forces are desired and preferably only three members are cut. So, this is a trick to cut only three members, but many times it is uh, not possible to do and uh, such examples uh, if time permits we will follow. So, the truss section what we have uh, considered here is this one as it is said uh, preferably three uh, members to cut that is what is cut here if we look at this member, this member and this member are cut and uh, what we have, we have we need to find out the external forces before we come to the method of section. Finding out external uh, forces, uh, we need to solve the equation uh, that you may do as a homework uh, or maybe while we will be solving the same problem using method of joints, there you can, uh, you can learn how to find out the uh, forces considering the whole structure as a free body and then considering moment about this point if we consider then we can easily find out this vertical force and the other way if we consider the other two equations once this is known if we consider equilibrium in the vertical direction that will give us this reaction force if we consider equilibrium in the horizontal direction that will give, give us this reaction force. So, once we come to know these reaction forces, we can easily apply the method of section and continue. In our example, the internal load in the member 5 is desired, the free body is as shown. The load uh, in is load in member 5, the load in uh, member 5 they may be found by summing forces in y direction on either part of the cut truss. Considering the left side as a free body, we, we get. So, this side is, is considered, we are considering the equilibrium in the vertical direction. So, if we consider this way the unknown force, this is acting in this direction, this is acting in this direction. So, if we are considering this equilibrium, what we get is that these two are horizontal components. So, if we simply consider the equilibrium in the vertical direction, the y direction that gives us as the solution a 5 is equals to 500 pound. So, it is that easy to find out using method of section, but uh, in our next, next lecture we will see how difficult, how time consuming it is to find out using method of joints. 
but method we need to learn both the uh, process to do uh, because uh, we some this method of sections uh, sometimes is not very good in case of uh, three dimensional truss having a section in three dimensional truss is very very difficult and uh, in those cases method of joints are more useful and we need to follow this that method of joints more uh, vivid way and uh, will that will be covered in our next lecture so with this consideration uh, let us uh, end today's lecture and uh, with this lecture the standard uh, references what we have uh, already seen earlier also applied elasticity by Wang, analysis of aircraft structure and introduction by Donaldson, analysis of design of flight structure by Brun, by Rivello, theory, theory and analysis of flight structure, aircraft structure for engineering student by Mekshan, Perry Ajar aircraft structure. Wesley Perry Ajar by uh, the aircraft, uh, aircraft structure, but amongst this, uh, these books, uh, the most popular and most useful books are this Brun, this Megshan, this Perry and sometimes we have also considered this Wang, uh, later classes we will consider, Donaldson also you, you have used to some extent and uh, any book of aircraft structure is always useful for learning. So, what we have done in this with more stress is the met method of section and uh, we have seen that we, if we choose a section in a very wise manner uh, with experience we can easily find out any, any member force without, without much difficulties, without much, much effort putting on it. So, this is a very intelligent way of f uh, finding out, but it requires experience to do. So, with this lecture, uh, thank you for attending uh, this lecture and we end today's lecture. You please come back in our next class with method of more detail of method of joints. Thank you.